Hello and welcome to the Tiger Create tutorial series. This is part 11. Use all fonts with a text image object. If you create a Tiger Create scene, you can use text. Of course, it's a book. So look here. I add a text object and place it in the middle of the scene. And because it's a multi-language book with German and English, I say German here and I make the font size a little bit bigger and the line spacing I make it bigger too. And now we have the German text German and we have the English text English. Now if you look at this in the preview you can see it's set to English, you have English text, it's set to German, you have the German text. And look again, the text always is in front of the image. Now in many cases you might to need text that is behind an image, not on top of an image. And of course you might want to use many, many fonts. So far, you have only these fonts that are installed and that can be used in iBooks, in Android apps, in Tiger Books, in iOS apps. So um, you cannot select between really many fonts and not the fonts you, for example, own yourself. To help you here, we prepared another object, a text image object. So let's select the text image object. It looks like a text object here and you can use it with multi-language books too. So I put in here German again and I use the same font size and the same line spacing and here, here you have the text. The difference here now is this is not text anymore that gets rendered by the device. This is converted to a bitmap by Tiger Create. So this now is a normal image object. I changed the text for the English text. English. So we have here the same as the normal text. But because this is an image, it can be stacked in front or below other image objects. So this image here, let's use set order one, and the text image object has a set order of zero, so it will be behind this image. Let's look at it in the preview mode. You see, it was below the normal text and in front of the text image text. And if I change now to German, both texts change. So with this text image object, you can use set ordering and you can use animations. So let's move it around a little bit. And now look at it. You see, the text can be moved and of course the text can be rotated and um, scaled and you can do with it whatever you want. And the best thing is you can use different fonts. For the text image object you have all the fonts you have installed on your computer. So um, let's use a papyrus font. Need more line spacing for this one and look at it in the preview mode, it works. Switch to English, it still works. On the devices, this will be rendered in high res, so it will be really fine and very good readable. The only thing that does not work is word highlighting, because this is a bitmap. But if you want to use word highlighting, you can still add, for example, a text blade 
feature and put the normal text with word highlighting onto the text plate. And still you have the text with your font that you prefer on the page. One more thing, because this is a bitmap, if you change the size or the scale here, you are scaling the image. If you want to change the size for the text box, you have to change the image width here, like 400, and now more text will fit into this image. So this here, the image width and height, defines the size for the text box that is converted to an image, and the scale size then really changes the image. Just work with this, it's really funny what you can do with it and uh, it's very very useful if you want to prepare for example kids books and want to use your own fonts in a scene and maybe if you want to use objects that are moving on top of fonts. Enjoy creating new apps with TigerCrate, best till the next time, bye bye.